We haven't seen much of Aronian yet. The only game we were following is the game he almost lost to, to Alirza Feruja. So once again, Levon will be Levon will have the white pieces, and I'm wondering if he's gonna go for e4 one more time, or maybe out of respect for Magnus, you know. Yeah, maybe he will not gonna play e4. You think so? I don't think that he's gonna play e4. Uh, no. I'm not sure because, you know what? What what do you expect from Magnus after e4? Uh, well, Sicilian is a problem, right? Because Berlin, I'm sure Levon would be ready. Oh, wow, to and it's e4. He does, c5. yeah. Okay, this is very solid for white. This is super solid for white, but also super you know, solid it's a, for black. It's a strategic game, and this is usually where Magnus shines. So he is not under attack right from the beginning, under pressure. You know, it's like long yeah. maneuvering. And I remember, usually. like in the beginning of 2000, I was the one who was playing this with black. I was defending it against Kramnik many times in Linares. Each with the idea, knight h2. Or no, he plays knight e2. Knight this e2. Is so this is a completely new way of treating this position. H3, knight e2. And he doesn't really care about knight a5, it seems. I'm surprised. But I also have knight e5, knight g3, knight takes e4 somewhere. But okay, then you can claim bishop takes f7, look f7, d4. Uh, this yeah. structure. Hard to judge, but very strange. I mean, h3 and knight e2. I have never seen this. 92 and was played relatively quickly. Yeah, but Magnus is shocked. He really gives me the chance to play knight a5 and he goes a6. A6. Kind of a modest move. He kind of says no, thank you. Mm, yeah, but then a3, right? Logically. Yeah, a3 or a4. Or a4, right? Yeah, a4 is possible. But then a4, rook b8, c3, b5. Then maybe yeah, he will still prepare b, b5, yeah. Yeah, so then maybe you might rig that a4. Yeah, you probably want to keep uh, the queen side kind of closed. Yeah. yeah, b5, bishop a2, and then... And this is now anti martial bishop e6, all of a sudden. Bishop takes e6, f6, knight goes to g3, pawn goes to c3, but black has some tempi. Black saved on knight a5 and then coming and back to c6. And also bishop b7, bishop c8, bishop e6 is wow. played often. So, so it's, it means mm -hmm. that compared to Rui Lopez, yeah, to this Spanish, uh, black has a lot of extra tempi. Yeah, the question is what to do with those tempis. It's not, not that easy. And the white look is not yet on e1, which allows black going d6, d5. Mm -hmm. Even though, <laughs> how much of an achievement d5 is in such positions? It's, it's good. It's ah, important. Because you will go d4 and, and then white never has f4 contemplated. Yeah, right? you can go d4, you can go c4. I mean, it gives all the possibilities for black. Rook to e1, mm -hmm. never the, And that, now you feel that Levon is not exactly an e4 player, right? I mean, those, uh, those variations that he knows move by move, he is ready to play, but those positions where you essentially have to know the character more, more than just the theory. Yeah, he I mean, uh, he, would, he would love to be black because this is his territory in the anti martial how many, how many games did they play with Magnus? Uh, with, with colors with reversed. Exactly. In these structures, I think one cannot even... Uh, Candles that number. Okay. But knight d7, ah, knight d7, queen b3, c4 is kind of an idea, but you really want to complicate matters that much? Yeah, that's, that's kind of uh, the feeling that black's position is so comfortable that maybe you want to avoid any kind of complications, right? King h8. King h8, yeah. that's. Just getting out of eventually some queen b3, knight f5 pin on the, on the diagonal. Nice prophylactics, but there is also some uh, pressure on Magnus. Imagine if something goes wrong and Levon wins this game, he will throw Magnus. So you got the position with three, four extra tempis, and you couldn't do anything with it, yeah? Right. So queen to e2. Now you are safe to go knight d7, of course. Mm. Uh, bishop d2. Now I stabilize the position. I don't feel like those tempies matter that much. Yeah, the, the question is, how about is white, I mean, what's white plays? I mean, well, usually white tries to break the queen side with b4, I mean, because, but black seems to be ready for that. Yeah, and if uh, he gets the knight on b3, he's the only one who can play on queen side. Yeah. So it's either something immediately, I don't know what, like takes... <coughs> Wait, what happens if he takes d4? 
knight b3 takes e5, for instance. With what? Because if you take with knight, I take knight takes no, no, d4, so, uh, then queen h5. Yeah, takes, takes on d4. Knight b3. Yeah, there is still nothing wrong moving the rook, yeah? But where do you go? No, if you move the rook, where you go? If you go rook b1, I take rook takes f3. This is a oh, wow. typical and favorite move yeah, of Levon. Yeah, so that's why d5. So he takes, but now so I can take on a1 and take on f3. Wait, and I, take can on e5, take on yeah, I can still exactly. take on f3. I can still take on f3 because you cannot recapture with the queen. Oof. Or maybe you should. Levon because if you take with the pawn, it's knight d4, you know, knight e5 and all yeah, those. Yeah, but look at Levon's uh, face expression. I mean, yeah, because he, he used to do this himself uh, exactly. with colors reversed all the time. Knight takes d2, queen d2, knight e5. It's not even an exchange sacrifice because you will be forced to give the exchange back, it seems. No, with king g2, can I hang king on? King g2. Ah, that there will be something. I yeah, mean, well, uh, even there just there some like knight takes d3, rook d1, c4, cement. Yeah, yeah, and then exactly. It looks awful. Yeah, and the, and the knight on g3, which is terribly placed. And Levon down to 10 seconds. Levon yeah, that's another factor which is kind of scary. Yeah, very Okay, scary. queen e3, we still take on d3, I believe. But then I go rook d1 and take on d3. Immediately. Eliminate the knight, eliminate yeah. the horse, the, the, the most dangerous piece. <laughs> rook d1, c4, has to take it. Has to yeah. take it, yeah, rook takes. And queen takes? Queen yeah. takes. Yeah, okay. because you need to protect that pawn. Takes, takes, rook d1, rook d8. Is white in time? F4. F4. Okay, Very getting important. some, you know, yeah, some king grip. Yeah, king g2, king f3. If white gets his king in game, then he's out of danger at all. And okay, b4, yeah. might not only be out of danger. Yeah. There might be more than that. Okay, but with b4 takes, takes, now you always have d2, so black is not running any risk. Mm, I wouldn't be so sure. Because Eleven black... on four seconds. Yeah, that, that's an issue. Obviously. Check and rook that's b3. An issue. Uh, rook b3, rook b1. Okay, foreign. Not giving ah yeah, but then I barely can move here. Yeah, king you need D1, some window, King D1, yeah. Rook F3. What do I do? Yeah? No, I mean Black plays G6, for instance. But what White does? Well, Knight F1, really maybe then. Knight F1 drops. Uh, okay, H3 I give that, but yeah, then Knight E3. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I ah, know you you just take the D2 pawn. No, I don't want to take the D2 pawn actually. D1 Queen, King takes Rook F3. Yeah, okay. this is very good. I mean, he needs this F4 pawn. And then attack the h3 pawn as well. Knight g3, mm -hmm. bishop c5. The feeling is like, ah, uh, knight h1. <laughs> I mean, black is better. Black is better, but might bishop not d6, win, yeah? King f7. King f7. Yeah, Levon's issue is the time as well. Yeah. Maybe bishop d4, king f6. On the it slightly hand. surprises me this king. King, king goes. Where is this king going? Yeah, like goes through. It's natural, but knight very Knight he almost going? made another move with the king, and, and then the bishop is attacked, by the way. Now knight c1, knight coming to d3. Yes. Yeah, we see that. And king runs all the way back, yeah, and no knight on d3, of course, is a huge improvement. Yeah, no. no, he has lost way too much time with this king maneuver. F4. G5. Go g5. Break has it. to. Break it. Maybe f4 was unnecessary. Yeah, maybe he could. He could actually go king f1, king g2, because rook, rook was stuck, yeah, instead of going f4. Yeah, I mean, I don't like f4, because suddenly with this little time you create problems again for yourself. Kind of, you had a fortress, rook h5. Rook h5 goes to b5, to b3. Okay, tricky move, take on h3, <laughs> king g4 check. King g4 nevertheless, rook b5. Uh, he controls time. Look, I mean, we, we said he is, yeah. he's on seconds already 20 moves ago, and then mm. he's still on seven seconds. So does Magnus. No, so does Magnus. Magnus of yeah, course. he still has 30 seconds. Yeah. Rook to g5. Okay. Rook. What? H4. H4. Yeah. This is not dangerous for black. I mean, for white. For this white, is not yeah. dangerous. Rook g3. Knight c1, uh, crawling back. Yeah, well, actually, bishop f4 would have been... I don't know. Yeah, but this is now very close to be lost. Check. Knight b3, okay, chances, chances still. Bishop b2, knight a5. And now, yeah, wow. once again, once again, the, the wrong bishop and h-pawn, you know. But how do you, how do you stop this h-pawn? How do you get the king in the corner? No, this is winning. Uh, 
should be King G now. Rook E3 check. Rook E3 check. King F1. H3. H3. How White do you stop? is in the box. Yeah, White is in the box. But wait, but but he managed to get the rook behind. Mm -hmm. Check on F3. Okay, King E2. Rook F2 and H2. Right. How useless this knight is. No, then suddenly knight takes e5. Knight takes e5. Okay. Rook h2. Yeah, king f4. This is king, king is entering. Yeah. yeah this king is e3. Over. This should be over. Knight f5 takes. Knight g3. Yeah, of course you keep the knight. Yeah. Yeah, but this is not simplified. But it is over. It is over, and once again we. It All is left is to praise Magnus's technique. Yeah? But it was a heroic defense by Levon. Simply had way too little time. Yeah, you just cannot uh, play against Magnus. Forty moves wait on Wait a sec. Rook a one. Rook rook h seven. Ah, he he. No, I don't quite understand what is that. I thought he was like winning by force. Yeah. Now knight f four is a little bit of a threat to win one of the past pawns. You remember the end game Nakam you and G Nakamura very similar. Yeah, when, when he barely won it. Yeah, but it's the same H pawn and D pawn. Just that I mean, if we you have take the knight the and the yeah, we, if you take on D4, it's it's like. What? No, if you just remove these two pieces, it's the same. Yeah, it's it's yeah. exactly the same then. Yeah. H2. Rook H8. Bishop. Bishop E3, E3 check. check. <coughs> King C2. Rook A2 check and Bishop F4. Yeah. Okay. So what to do now? Knight takes, pawn takes, king e4, rook f2. Whoa. H3. No, no, this should be lost. This should be lost. And yeah. probably is lost, yeah? No stalemates, no nothing. No. King gets to g2, and that will be it. Yeah. Very, very important victory for Magnus. He's, uh, well, one.